You know, Chris Algieri, deep inside, I kind of feel bad for him a little bit. This guy, he has no clue what he just got himself into when he signed a contract to fight Pacquiao. He has no clue. I mean, right now it's kind of blurred out. It's kind of hard to see right now because Pacquiao, he's smiling and giggling, having a good time. You know, you got Freddie Roach smiling right now, and everybody is on the press tour having a good time, and they're on this whole kumbaya kick, you know. Let's all be friends. <laughs> And now he's at home, right? And he got, and he has like this home dinner, right? And then people are smiling at him; they're happy to see him. He's the hometown hero, and he's on this whole training thing. Like I'm a beat Pacquiao, and it's just, it's just not right because the level that Pacquiao and Floyd is on is so high, such a huge jump. They ideally should be able to beat the guys around them prove that they are the best and then go be able to compete with Pacquiao or Floyd Mayweather but that's not what's happening Floyd and Pacquiao's level is so high it's a huge jump right so he thinks that he can and he can't you know he says oh I got skills I got boxing skills and that's not enough you're not going to beat Pacquiao like that you have to have more than just that I mean Pacquiao he fights much faster than you Right, like I, I saw, him, I saw Chris Jury fight Ruiz on Pavlovnikov, and it's just not fast enough for Pacquiao, you know. And it's gonna be bad to see what happens to him, but I think he will win some rounds. But he's not going to. I mean, just the reality. And then you got Al Bernstein out here trying to do damage control, lying to the people, saying that he's a test for Pacquiao, and it's just not true. He's lying. You know, I don't know if he's paid to do this or what, or if he really believes that. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of bad for him. It kind of shows where he is. But um, you know, Chris Jury, he's he's not supposed to be fighting Pacquiao. He's not. So it's gonna be bad to see what happens to him. But you know, he's he should have he shouldn't be fighting this guy. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Now. People think that you need boxing skills to beat Pacquiao, and that's just not the answer. You need power, okay? You need power, and you need counter-punching ability. Marquez didn't beat Pacquiao because he was a boxer. He beat him because he knew how to counter, and he had power. Because Pacquiao won't stop coming. you got to be able to stop him from coming forward. If you can't stop Pacquiao from coming forward, you're not going to beat him. And to do that, you have to punch hard enough to make him step back and say, okay, I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to come forward and throw punches anymore. I don't want to fight him anymore because he'll knock me out, right? So this guy, Chris Algieri, he does not punch hard enough, and I just don't see how this guy's going to beat Pacquiao, you know. So that's what I see happening there, and hopefully people don't fall for it again for the loss, and uh, I'm out.